I'll never forget that morning. I had already missed the school bus, but I stood there anyway, watching and envying the birds. Welcome to Home is Where One Starts. This is a short exploration game, and if you'd like to check it out for yourself, you'll find more information in the description. Alright, so it's in the morning and we've just missed our bus. And I love how she mentions she's watching the birds and when it fades in, there's the birds and you can actually watch them yourself. So much nature around here. <laughs> and there's our backpack. Oh my god, it's cute. Look at that thing, that is adorable. I wonder how old I am right now, in this memory. I must be pretty young. Adults usually don't wear backpacks like that. <laughs> Although I think the world would be a cuter place if they did. So yeah, we look pretty isolated out here. We're really in the countryside. I see like a couple of shacks off to the sides, but I think we're the only house that I can even see. It's a beautiful place though. Looks like maybe farmland. County Social Services. That's not good. You usually don't want to get anything from Social Services. Mr. James Northern. Ah, oh, so we're in Virginia. Bumpus, Virginia. Well, if I've missed the bus, I guess there's no other way I'm getting anywhere, so might as well head back to the house. I'm certainly not going to walk. Oh, wait. I think there's a house over there. I'll have to go check that out at some point. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, this family was having problems. So, besides just the trash buildup obviously not being good. Past due notices, delinquent account notice. Uh, that's really weird. It says delinquent account notice and past due, but if you actually read the text, it seems to be complete nonsense. It has something to do with image resizing. Weird. Farm fresh milk. Hmm. I like the attention to detail in all these boxes and cans and stuff of food. Everything has, has its own label. I think that's hot chili. Mm. Oh, I want to read every single label. What does that say? I can't read upside down. Uh, royal chips. But yeah, anyway, um, garbage building up like this, not good. Past due notices, not good. And, hmm, quite a few bottles of wine and beer. 
Not exactly enough to say that, um, uh, I'm assuming her dad would be Mr. Northern. Not enough to say he had a drinking problem necessarily, but, uh, seems quite possible. Those are pretty flowers. Multicolored. I guess I must be pretty young, because I'm just about as tall as this trash can. Yeah, this place just looks like it's completely... pretty much deserted, just like falling apart. Cigarette butts. Ugh. This, this trash bag's burst open. Trash, trash, more trash. Let's go inside. I almost want to save the house for last, but... Nah. Let's go inside. I wish I could forget that smell. The smell of alcohol mixed with mold. I hated that trailer, even when my father was away at work. Alcohol and mold, and I saw cigarette butts, so I guess he smokes too. Yeah, that's gotta smell horrible. Ugh. It's so dirty. That's really disgusting. Hmm, is there a light I can turn on? Wait a minute, does this place even have a light? Other than this one? Which doesn't... What the... Okay, that's weird. Is this like an ornamental light? Like, it's not really a light, it's just ornamental? Meant to look like a light and fool people? This place doesn't... Like, it doesn't have any lights. That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, I'm definitely pretty young. My head just barely goes above the counter. Oh, I can't look in the fridge. No. I love looking in fridges. Huh. The Super Deli. And the number, for once, isn't just like 555. I wonder if it's actually a real number. 567854. You know what? I'm actually going to call that number. That, uh, that actually dialed, because I, I swear that doesn't actually have the right number of numbers. It actually rang, but nobody answered. How did it even ring in the first place? I don't know. I live in a modern world where I almost never actually dial numbers. I don't understand how they work. You know, if somebody actually answered... I probably would have just hung up straight away. I would have freaked out. <laughs> no, that's the water heater. Which, Jesus Christ. 
freaking paint is peeling on it. Even this has become a place to store trash. It's gotta be the bedroom. This is the back door. Yeah, this place is tiny. It's really, really small. It's obviously the the dad's room. Seems like he liked hunting, given the pictures on the wall and especially this. Kept a knife under his pillow. It's kind of creepy. Oh my god. As if there's any doubt that he had a drinking problem. This pretty much cinches it. Maybe it's just because I'm a kid, but uh, this seems like a, a very... Like, a really, really strangely high bathtub. The shape of it is really bizarre. I'm not entirely sure that was actually made for a human being to be in. <laughs> the closet's just a pile of clothes on the floor. even open the drawers. And wait a minute, I didn't, did I try to flush the toilet? I can't, f no way. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, even though I don't give points or scores to games, I'm retracting one imaginary point because I can't flush the toilet. Like, you gotta be able to flush the toilet. You just have to. Ducky. Oh, I can't pick you up. <laughs> this mirror doesn't even reflect anything. What's wrong with it? it? Looks like somebody has just like wrapped a slab of something in aluminum foil and called it a mirror. Gardening book. A uh, broken printer, I guess. This would be my room. I had an obsession with space. I thought I'd be the first astronomer to discover a planet beyond Pluto. I also thought birds could fly anywhere, even to outer space. To be a bird and to fly to other planets, I couldn't imagine a more perfect life. She didn't even have a mattress.
she doesn't even have a table. Just so she was stuck in this crappy house with a apparently pretty crappy dad thinking of freedom and travel, birds and space. Anywhere but here. <laughs> That's really cute. RN. The last name is Northern, right? For the family, so I guess the first... The first letter R's is her name. Something N. Maybe Rachel N. Rachel Northern, something like that. Looks like she's messing around with computers. Just hard drive. And, well, it's not a motherboard, but some sort of circuit board. What is this? Oh. It's the Bible, isn't it? <laughs> Electronics do's and don'ts. Oh my god, that front picture. That is so old. It looks like a typewriter. Whoa, that fan. That is that is really big. That's gotta be like a 200 millimeter fan or something. That's it for inside this place. It's, it's really, really small. I wanna, I wanna just take off the uh, the cushions and see if there's anything underneath. Oh god, there's even cigarette butts on the couch. That is so gross. All right, let's explore around the house. This is what happened with old appliances. Just left out to rust. Hey, there's another rubber ducky. This one I can actually pick up. Well, this one's seen better days. It's so a pathway that goes back there. Well, let's explore around the yard first and then maybe take one of the pathways and see if there's anything to see. I guess you'd like to play on the swing here.
Hmm. What's in there? I wonder if I can find the key. I can see through a little bit. Oh, I wish I could jump. I really want to know what's in there. If I could jump up, I could see through the cracks. I think I see like a painting. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I can find the key. I don't know. I don't know if this game has any sort of an inventory. I feel like it doesn't. It's like some appliance in there or something. Could be like a lawnmower, motorcycle, I don't know. Let's go follow this pathway and see if there's anything back here. And then after that, I think I'll come back and check out the, uh, I think there's a little like outhouse or shed over there and then there's a bigger building that way. walked around the woods a million times by myself, but it felt different that morning. I thought about how ancient those giant trees were, and how they were probably the same size when I was born. It seemed so long ago when I was a baby. That morning was the first time in my life I realized that I was growing up. made a little fort, didn't she? Yeah. I once made my own fort in the woods and called it my mansion. I imagined it being this giant house with furniture and a TV. And I even had separate rooms for toys and for tinkering with computers. It was a place where everything was better. It was home. Looks like uh, she carved animals. No surprise, you can't even see her father totally in the picture, because I don't think she cared. Because a father doesn't seem to be a very good parent. But there's the mother. And there's me. I wonder what happened to her. Did they get divorced? And he got custody somehow? Did she die? You know, unless I'm crazy, it, it kind of looks like she has bruises on her arm, doesn't it? The mother? I swear it looks like she has bruises on her arm. I mean, this is just a picture out... Like, out in the woods, so maybe it's just a smudge or something. Or maybe he was abusive.
I almost never went into that old cemetery, but that morning I did. I guess I wanted to feel something, even if it was only fear. I was terrified because of a vivid memory. I remember I had lost something important, and I realized it was near that graveyard. I gathered up all my courage, imagining how Princess Leia would act. Right as I stepped into the gates, I heard a ghost screaming at me. I ran as fast as I could, and I never looked back. So is this the graveyard for the family? Like, has the family been living in this area for many generations? Because there's a lot of graves. They seem to be so old that the names have worn off. It's funny that in a decrepit grave of a house, I found something beautiful a stranger had left a long time ago. I would stare at it for ages after a bad day. I've tried over and over to draw it how I remember, but it's not the same. One day I'll find that stranger and I'll say thank you. That's an incredibly large and detailed stencil. Nothing but a chimney. Alright, let's go check out this larger building over here. I'm curious if that's another house, or, or what? Really? An invisible wall? That's disappointing. Is that a... is that a baseball? I 
I swear there's a baseball on top. This thing's so freaking huge, I can't possibly reach it, though. You see that? Is that like a reference to something? pond was pure bliss growing up. I can't remember if I had a fishing pole or not, but there definitely wasn't any fish. I didn't need to catch anything anyway. I once spent an entire Saturday afternoon trying to climb on top of one of those hay bales just so I could take a nap in the sun. When I finally did it, I was too happy to fall asleep. Oh, I think that's why there's a baseball on top After of one of them. walking around, I started to think. I started to feel brave. My father had hidden a key in his room, so I went to go get it. Ah, oh, so I do end up unlocking it. Okay. And yeah, I think that's why there's a baseball up there. She said she tried to get on top of the, the hay bales, and at one point she actually managed to do it. So I guess she probably just left something up there. Not necessarily from, from that time when she first got up to one of them, but I'm sure she did it again. Okay, let's go get the key. What the heck is that noise? You hear that? What the? It's coming from like, right here. It sounds like, like a crazy party going on in the distance or something. Like what you'd hear outside of a nightclub or something. Alright, so we hit a key somewhere. Oh, now I can open this. There we go. And that got rid of the sound. Weird. Is that supposed to mean something? It's a bike. Does that mean I'm gonna bike my way to school? Or just bike off in the, into the distance and explore? Get away from this place? Okay, uh, I guess, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't help but laugh. 
so this is supposed to be a tender moment, obviously, when you get on your bike and you start biking off into the distance, I guess. But I can't help but At laugh. That moment, all the invisible walls in my life disappeared. What I would give to ride that bike one more time. When she says that you disappeared, I think she means literally you can probably just go past the invisible walls. Or maybe not, or the game just ends. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, like, I can't even take this game seriously now after riding that bike, because the way that, like, you're not even on a bike, it just makes your character super fast, and you, like, stop pretty much instantly, and it just, it feels really, really silly. Like, really, really, really silly. Like, basically imagine you kept the original character controller that you were, you know, playing with before the bike, and then just make it really fast, and that's it. Like, it felt so ridiculous. <laughs> That's... The game just closed, too. Um, uh, let's, let's start the game back up, so you have something to look at. Yeah, that was... I'm sorry, that was supposed to be a touching ending, but I can't take that seriously. It just felt ridiculous. It really, really felt ridiculous. Okay, let's examine the game a bit. I like it. Like, I like it, and I like what it's trying to do, but I don't think it did it very well. It describes itself as trying to be in the same vein as Dear Esther and Gone Home. And I, I can totally see that. It's definitely trying to be that. Which is a good thing, because I like those sorts of games. Sorts of games where you can just calm down, slow down, and just explore an environment and take it in. Look at notes and just look at things that people have left behind in the environment to try to understand. To try to understand what's going on in these characters' lives and, and what's happened. I really like that. And it tries to do that. But it doesn't do it very well. There's just... there's not enough depth either to the interactions or to the story. In terms of the interactions, there's really not that many things you can pick up. And picking them up doesn't really tell you much of anything. I remember in Gone Home there were so many things that you had to really look at every single corner and every, you know, turn everything around and look under it and just look all around every item you picked up to see and make sure you weren't missing something. You weren't missing like a code or a note like scrawled on the back of a piece of paper or something. Uh, what? If you wait here, I've the heard people say school bus comes? their greatest fear is to wake up and wonder what could have been. My greatest fear is to wonder what could never be. Oh, that's pretty neat, actually. So, yeah, it looks like when she said she remembered missing the bus, she didn't mean that she, like, didn't get out to the bus in time, but rather that she simply wandered off, so if you stay there, the bus actually comes. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, let's walk away from the starting area so the bus doesn't come and interrupt me again. Although I'm really glad that I found that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, like I was saying before, the objects that you pick up, there's not many of them that you can pick up, and looking around them really doesn't reveal anything particularly interesting. And the environments are really uh, stunningly not very interactive at all. I joked about not being able to flush the toilets, but it's true. You can't flush the toilets, you can't run the water, you can't open up drawers for the most part, except this one that you can open up only after you've reached the end of the game, basically. Like, there's very little interactivity. The environment feels very static. Very flat. Which is really a shame, because in an exploration game, where looking at your looking at the environment is your primary way of of understanding what's going on, it's it's really important that the environment feels interactive and and real. And it's it's touchable. It doesn't feel like a set piece, you know. It's important that you can really touch stuff. And for the most part, you can't. 
and there's also just not enough meat to the story. You know, she says she has her own little uh, monologue that gets triggered when you get to certain points, but there's just not very much of it. And as far as I can tell, the story basically goes that she's living in this place that she doesn't like. She wants freedom. You know, she wants to go to the moon. She likes birds. And her father is, I guess, having trouble paying bills, past due notices, trash is gathering up, he's a drunk, smokes all the time. So I guess her father's, uh, well, basically a piece of shit, I guess. I mean, he's obviously not caring for her properly. Possibly he was abusive to her mother, based on the picture and the fact that it looks like she had bruises on her arm. Although that could just be a smudge on the on the picture or something, it's hard to tell. And that seems to be it. She didn't, didn't like where she was living, her father wasn't taking care of her properly. The end? Like, there's there's not enough there. I want more depth, it's it's all it's all surface. Like, that's that's a good start. Don't get me wrong, it's a good start, but I want more. I want to be able to read more notes about, like, I, I just want to know more about exactly what was going on. The two people, like the two main people, you know, you and your father, those those two characters aren't really developed at all. The father character is just deadbeat dad, basically, and you're just girl who wants a better life, and like, that's it, you know? They, they don't really feel like real characters, there's not enough depth to them. So, I like what it was trying to do, but unfortunately, I don't think it did it very well. And that bicycle thing just was ridiculous. Seriously, it... L let me show you again. Okay, let's do this again. I've only got a limited amount of time before the game fades to black and ends again. And it's really hard to show how something feels when you can't actually... Yeah, you know, when you're not actually the one pressing the controls. But let me just jiggle this thing around to show you how ridiculous it is. Okay, here we go. This is bike physics. Wee! Oh look, the bike can instantly, like, instantly go from side to side. And stop. Bike, bikes don't act like this. Look, this... <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It's like I've got a jet engine strapped to my back. Can I bike into the house? At that moment, I can even bike inside of the house! The How is this? Look at the disappear. bikes don't work like this! <sighs> what I would give to ride that bike one more time. I had an obsession with space. I thought I'd be the first astronomer to discover a planet beyond Pluto. I also thought birds could fly anywhere, even to outer space. Maybe you can fly the bike to, to outer space. And to fly to other planets. I couldn't imagine a more perfect life. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really hard to take the game seriously at all, given how ridiculous that bike is at the end. Like, oh my god. <laughs> all right. Anyway, that has been <laughs> that has been home is where one starts. It's it's the little game that tried. It's a small game, it's a short game, I really like what it's trying to do, but I don't think it did it very well, and... And the impression it leaves me with at the end is one of just... It, it's, it's so... The, the bike is, the bike is so ridiculous! Oh my god! But it tried. It, it really tried. It did try. And I can respect that. 